Welcome back. Welcome to All Things Fashion Show, DMV's very own first fashion show. So this is Ruth, your host. I am with an amazing guest today, the guru, the fashionista of men's European fashion. That is the best place every man should be right now. But before going to a guest... I want to thank our proud sponsors, Freddie and Sons Roofing. So I will take you to a short commercial break of Freddie and Sons Roofing. Freddie and Sons Roofing is a family-owned company that specializes in roofing, siding, and gutters. We serve the entire DMV area and have 15-plus years of construction experience. We're currently offering free complimentary roof inspections for all Media to Africa supporters. We'll inspect your roof and give you an estimate all in the same day. Depending on the condition of your roof, you may be eligible for a replacement covered by your insurance company. So if your home has been affected by wind or hail damage, we're able to have your home insurance involved to get your roof cost covered. Freddie and Son Roofing is a fa Hello, welcome back. So our guest for today is no other person than Connaissant Paris. We all know Connaissant Paris is like a home for men's fashion. It is like the ultimate, it is the best you can get all your European fashion. So we're coming live to you, Julius Ade. Hey, how are you doing today? I'm doing just fine. Thank you so much, Ruth, for having me on, for having Connaissant Paris on, for giving us this platform all things fashion so excited yes. to be here <laughs> i am so excited to have him he is a very very busy man but yet all things fashion need to bring him on because our men are worried a man their fashion it's like they want to upgrade their closer they want to upgrade those colors they want to bring a new life we're talking about european luxury high-end fashion with condescend paris today a lot of people know condescend paris boutique but they don't know the founders behind it and i know that you are one of the core founders and we are also having an amazing person on this platform with you which he is not today on the show, but we will give him all the due respect. Alain Chaps. So, Mr. Julius, who yes. are you? Who is the founder? People want to know. They only know Connaissant Paris. Who are you behind Connaissant Paris? Well, um, it all started a few years back. Um, there are two people behind the, the brand, Connaissant Paris. You've already mentioned Alain Chaps and myself. So we've been friends, Alan is my friend. We've been friends since late 1998. We are both veterans of the U.S. Army, originally from Cameroon. He's from the West Province. Of course, I'm from the Northwest, where we've been great friends, fashion lovers. Yeah. And so after that, at some point, due to frustrations with lack of good men's fashion in America, we came up with this idea that we can change all of that and i believe we are doing that gradually you see the kind of passion we're bringing to the u.s yes that is amazing just having two friends that have the same passion for the same thing it is amazing so you guys came together and chose the name connaissance paris so why connaissance paris why the the paris city we know it's a city we all want to be in we all want to have that fashion in our closet so why yes. connaissance paris why the brand name well, so my partner in high school, he was called Connoisseur. This guy, he has always been a suit lover. I remember when we became friends back in 98. We were both very new in the U.S. I had just joined the U.S. Army. I, I migrated to America in 97. And this guy used to wear suits a lot. And I asked him that, man, you are really a suit guy. So... He told me that, hey, man, I was called Connoisseur in high school because of fashion and stuff like that. So um, I got him into the army. So I recruited him. He joined the army after me. And then he was sent to Germany. So Ooh. while in Germany, he stayed there for a few years, U.S. Army. When he came home in 2007, um, two years after that, when we really started talking seriously about creating a brand, he said, why not Connoisseur? And I said, you know what? That name sounds interesting. But then you asked about Paris. 
we went to we made our first trip to Paris, him and I together as partners, with very little little finances at that time, just to go and explore. And when we got to Paris, and I'm still thinking about it because he said, let's let's call it on a set couture. And I said, okay, but when we got there, I said, you know what? Uh, with our background, growing up in Cameroon, we know that France is one of the capitals in the world when it comes to fashion. Yes. We wanted badly to make France our headquarters since most of our goods were coming out of France. So I said, you know what? Why not add that Paris? So his idea was to kind of say, mine was Paris, and we create, and it was kind of say, Paris, just beautiful. <laughs> That is beautiful because when you hear Connoisseur Paris, it's groundbreaking. It has so much authority to it. And when the Paris attached to it, you know what you're coming to see because Paris is known for hot couture. They are groundbreaking when it comes to fashion, men, women of every different platform. So that name alone, it is wonderful. Yes. It is amazing. And your brand, yes. it's known for having the most luxury, high-end, European, top-notch fashion. And this is something that a lot, a lot of people has known it for so long. But Africans have embraced this brand. It's in every African's mouth. Every person in the DMV, every young guy out there looking elegant, it's Connaissance Paris. So the question is, how, when are you bringing in this African, you know, that Afro descendant touch that we want into men's fashion? When are we ever going to expect that from Connaissance Paris brand? We've always believed in patience. We've okay. always believed in doing one thing, doing it well, and at the right time, you can add little stuff here and there. You know, sometimes with us, the problem we have is that we rush into different things. We know our strength. For now, our biggest strength, my partner and I, has been suits. We've been doing it for, I mean, we opened the first store, that was 2013. So I'll say eight years. But then we were doing, we we're selling door to door before we opened the store. So we've really also our way to where we are. And suits, have been our strongest strongest when it comes to fashion we've done yeah. so well we know about our designs we know about right. the fabric we know what people they want we we'll believe that we're gonna add some stuff later on but for now we are so focused on the bigger vision which is putting a concept for music in every major city in the world and our primary product will still be suits and then shoes and some other accessories Wow, that is great. So, Connoisseur Paris have men's talks and they have men's tuxedo and they have men's classic uh, uh, suits. So, being a fashion guru, what brand, what fashion trend it is right now? In the so, nowadays, what you see a lot, which of course, you know, fashion is like a circle. These things, they come yes. and they go. So, most of the stuff that we're doing now, I'm sure at some point it happened and it's coming back. So first, when you look at fashion, people want to go slim. Um, whether it is a tuxedo, which is a formal attire, or a business attire, people want to go slim, right? Slim yeah. look. You look at like the outfit I have on here, beautiful plaid. Um, it's, it's a three-piece suit, but because of this interview, I took off my vest so that I feel free. But um, now, a days, be it a tuxedo or a classic suit, you see that people bring in a lot of colors. People yeah. are not afraid of colors these days. Yeah. And it's so beautiful to see men being so confident because there was always a misconception. I remember back then when I joined the army, when I came to America, I was just a few months in the U.S. and I joined the army. And my pink bra my, my toothbrush kind of looked pinkish, um, purplish or something like that. And my friends, they, they assumed that I was something else because of that. So can you imagine? All of that stuff, everything that to do, check. So it made me, I became so conscious of colors <laughs> around me. But then I stayed away from colors, which I really love because I wanted not to be laughed at. But right. nowadays, now we we bring out the colors. And I've, I'm sure you've seen me with pink jackets, with all kinds yes. of jackets. So people are bold enough to go colors. But the issue is, as long as you wear the colors in the right season, you cannot be wearing these bright colors in the in the fall winter and stuff like that you do them more in the spring and the summer so color be it a tuxedo tuxedo is still more formal 
you go to parties, you see a lot of guys just doing tuxedo, kind of like a blazer, just a jacket, right. and then sometimes they might even go with casual shoes. So we are taking tuxedos these days and making it into kind of a casual look. But tuxedos have always been this formal attire, which were meant for black tie events, which were meant yeah. for, for weddings, for, for stuff like that, for awards, our <laughs> shoes and stuff. But these days, hey, I'll say, put on what you feel comfortable in. That's what I tell my customers when they come. I say, what, when they ask me, what do you want me to put on? I say, what are you comfortable in? You have to know yourself. Good. That is very, because that leads us to our main question now, which has been a stereotype situation in not just in the African communities, but also in the Western world. Men in colors. Statistics has proven that men buy more of neutral tone colors like, you know, gray, black, those colors where they think they blend completely. Bird and those bright color suits, tuxedos, and they are, they, they are actually not selling as much as the neutral tone jackets or tux are selling. So you being a brand owner and yes. maybe down the line, the community, it's gonna, it's gonna shift down to the point where they are coming to your store and they are trying to buy neutral tone. You being a brand owner, how can you uh, bring solution strategies in order to prevent that from happening in your store? So um, it starts right here, right? So most men, if you were to go into their closet, yes, you might not see up to five suits. They might have five or six. So the reason that most men, they avoid colors is because you know our people, black people in general, we, we change clothes a lot. We are so much into fashion. Black yes. men from wherever in the world, we are all the same when it comes to fashion. So when we look at our closet, sometimes we go quiet on colors, not just because we love quiet colors, but because we want something that you can easily sneak in or sneak out a few times right? and, and nobody will notice that mm -hmm. you, you, keep, you keep repeating the same suit. So what I advise, if a customer comes into into Conisset Paris and they're like, hey, what colors do you think I should wear? The first thing I ask them is, what do you have in your closet? If you say, hey, I'm not a suit guy, I've not put on many suits at all, I'll say, okay, let's start with this. Let's start with the, with the classic colors, which are the black, of course, then there's the navy blue and the gray. I say with those right. three colors, you can start with those. But then you start venturing into some colors, some little stuff. You know, you can add a little bit of tan. You can add royal blue. You can add light shade of gray. You start right. bringing colors gradually as you build your closet. So talking about our community and the way people look at colors, I think it is really changing. I see much older people, to my greatest surprise, wanting to wear colors. So it's all about what they see every day. When they see colors, colors, they, they turn on Facebook, they see colors, they turn on TV, they see colors. Whatever it is that they watch, right? They see colors. Right. Now they know that, hey, this is a trend. And you know, hey, yeah, we set the trend, right? I can say mm -hmm. um, when it comes to plaid and, and um, grippy suit with the vest, we have really made that popular in the US. It was something that was really so much over there. So same with the colors. People are opening up to colors. They come to the store and we show them colors, and they now they are comfortable wearing colors. So I'll, I'll say that that conception is it's going to be lost on. People are going to be wearing colors comfortable, even to work. To my greatest surprise, I've had customers who they put on some colors to work, working at bank, lawyers, or whatever. They put on colors. All right, that is good, and I love that because. Trust me, I saw you in the pink and the lime green. I was like, and the lime green shoes. I'm like, go, that is it. You look awesome in it. I'm like, Thanks. wow, that is a groundbreaking for men to wear a, a, a lime green a jacket or a tux and a lime green shoes. I'm like, that is out of comfort zone right now. That's what we're preaching about. That's what we're talking about. And you look That's so right. classy. <laughs> And I Thank really, you. I really like that. <laughs> Thank you. And so we'll be bringing some of your uh, 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 classic uh, 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 yeah. uh, uh, suits 
on the screen so our viewers get to see and get to have that feeling of what we're talking about. That's right. So we'll have the first classic uh, suit. Oh my God, we just talked about colors. Look how beautiful that blue is matching with the suit. And that is something yeah. we are talking about, color combination, because nobody, and somebody will sit in the house and will not even have the idea to match a blue on a pink like that. Yes. So um, you see that, you see, fashion really is, is so easy. And we make it so easy because, you see, when you come to a contemporary boutique, we, we educate you about fashion. We tell you about proper attire for proper events because not everything you cannot put on the suit on my ride to a job interview. I'm telling you from the door, they're gonna just tell you, you're gonna lose that job even before the interview, right? If you look right. at the suit on my left, the, the blue stripe, so it has some publish looking stripes on it. So, all we did there was we pick out that color. So, what, what color type can pick out the stripes from that suit? How we brought it out is that simple the suit that was on my right the checkered same thing it has blue blue um window pane right we just right. took that and brought out uh, is that is that is that simple so we guide you even on the suit itself so you can look at our suits and just know what accessories to go along with that is good so we'll be moving on the second exhibit like uh the tuxedo i really yes. love how that was structured and it is so good so we're moving to the tuxedo right now oh my god okay for those lovers of neutral tones we're talking about the black we're talking about the the the, the dark blue this is yep. amazing yeah yeah the black part there that's the lapel oh the, the, wow. the one with the black like the black contrast that, that's a lapel so this is called a shawl lapel and um it has been very trendy. I'm sure you noticed something else there. The U vest, which is also very trendy now. So beautiful suit. So you look at that fabric there. That's that's a brocade. It has some glittering pattern in it. But at the same time, anybody of any age can put on a suit like this. Right. Nobody be like, oh man, too much. The on the left is the navy blue, beautiful suit for a black tie event, for a wedding, for whatever gala you want to attend. You go with something like this you're going to look special and if you notice our suits we don't even pin them on the mannequin so the suits on the mannequin they are right that's our cut right there you see how the suit follows the silhouette of that mannequin that's how the suit is good it really looks on our cut on our clients so you go out there looking super slick so it's beautiful and of course you see the matching the shirted white shirt that's a ceremonial shirt black stones beautiful velvet uh bow tie the butterfly you see the big butterfly bow ties which is something that's very trendy so we do that and you also see the lapel pin on the other side on the black suit so beautiful suit there and they come with you can put this on with black pants all you have to do is just match the lapel blue or black pants on the left and on the right side nice black either satin or a wool pants we play with magic wow Look at how you just played everything and just say everything and it all just blend. <laughs> now we're talking to the guru for sure. <laughs> that is so good. So we wow. So this your one of your talks right here was yes. won by a celebrity. That's right. Oh my God! This is my favorite Irene. favorite of Hollywood all time. Yes. How how is the feeling to have him wear one of your talks on the uh, a Golden Globe? I guess was that the Oscar or the Golden? The, 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 um, I can't remember that. I think it must have been the Oscar. I think I the think Oscar. Oscar. I think that was the Oscar. It's been, it's, it's been a while. I think that was when last year, two years ago. Yeah, that must have been the Oscar when he wore this. Yeah, but Tyrese, a good friend of ours, and he has been very very supportive. We have quite a number of celebrities who put on our stuff. It's just that sometimes the photos, they don't get to us on time, especially at the Atlanta location. You know, Atlanta has become the yes. Hollywood for black people. So a lot of celebrities going into that location, putting on our stuff. We've had Magic Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, you name it. I'm sure you've even seen TV shows um, that um, Dynasty, the future us a lot of Dynasty. Um, yes. They, uh, um, Housewives of is it Atlanta? What do they call it? Yeah, that? Housewife uh, of Atlanta. Three Housewives of Atlanta. 
they come there and they do shows there. But coming back to Tyrese, yeah, he's putting on what he has on there is one of our signature velvet shawl lapel blazer. He Ooh. loves the shawl lapel. When we introduced him to that, he was very excited. So he has almost every color of that blazer. We did it in like oh five Oh my times. God, who would not? Yes. He looks so good in that. <laughs> <laughs> that is good so we are also i, I was talking about your shirts i love how yeah. you put different colors blue pink white for those people again that are more shifting towards the neutral and those ones that move are shifting towards the vibrant so we'll be bringing some of the shirt display on the screen yes Oh wow, this is so so beautiful. If I met my close set, if I was a man, trust me. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's what you want to be. <laughs> yep. Beautiful car. Oh, you have to see my closet. <laughs> oh my god, it's gonna be pink, a blue, lime green. I'm like, yes, that picture you took on Instagram with the lime yeah. green. People need to go check it out because that hot Absolutely. pink that you wore, I'm yeah. like, okay, you're bringing in yeah. the real yeah. summer vibe. No. We have to, it's summertime, you have to relax, you have to go out there and just just, just be you, you know what I'm saying? Don't, don't worry so much you. about what somebody is saying out there, just be yourself and have fun with okay. it. I had fun in the, with those blazers. So uh, we will be going on a quick uh, commercial break and we will be back. So our commercial break will be bringing you Connaissance Paris Live Boutique. So you guys can see it and then we will have a cute talk about the launch that is coming up. But first, you girls need to have a sneak peek of how classy, luxury, organized and it's a breathing ground for fashion inspiration and also That's not forgetting right. our proud sponsors freddie and sons so we're going to commercial break welcome to all things fashion show streaming live from media to africa are you a fashion designer are you smart creative adventurous a fashion entrepreneur trendsetter we bring you the best in photography modeling content creating art and music then join Ruth in all things fashion Freddy & Son Roofing is a family-owned company that specializes in roofing, siding, and gutters. We serve the entire DMV area and have 15 plus years of construction experience. We're currently offering free complimentary roof inspections for all Media to Africa supporters. We'll inspect your roof and give you an estimate all in the same day. Depending on the condition of your roof, you may be eligible for a replacement covered by your insurance company. So if your home has been affected by wind or hail damage, we're able to have your home insurance involved to get your roof costs covered. Freddie and Son Roofing is a family-owned company. Welcome back to All Things Fashion Show, and thank you, our proud sponsor, Freddie and Sons Roofing. So, Freddie and Sons Roofing is offering uh, Media to Africa viewers a free complimentary roofing inspection. So, if you're having a roofing problem, you're having a leaking, you're having a siding problem, or if you have an inspector storm that happened lately, have uh, damaged your roof or a tree that has broken and fallen down on your roof please contact freddie and sons roofing and let's come back to our amazing guests and the high-end luxury brand and you all oh, you guys also have men's shoes oh my god those shoes are mind-blowing so we're going to bring them up on the screen so our viewers can see and take a taste of that that is beautiful great look at that Woo! that is beautiful Wait. You, you can feel the leather from a mile. So yeah. people, uh, shoes, <laughs> we treat our leather. You see, the, the, our shoes are made up of calf skin. And I'm telling you, they, 
they treat our leather. Some of this leather that you see here on our shoes have been treated for like 10 years before they make the shoes. Wow. From five to ten years, so to tell you, quality shoes. Those are those are shoes that normally are valued. Those are Western quality shoes. They are valued about fifteen hundred. But when they say Paris, you buy something like that for two hundred and ninety nine dollars. Can you imagine? Wow, those shoes are. You guys even have the boots. Let's have the the, yes. the boots display. I really do love that brand because yes, now you're yeah. talking. Lovely, the double monk strap, ankle boots. <laughs> that looks like a million dollar. <laughs> it looks like a million dollar for real. <laughs> yeah, that, that is lovely. good. So, Connoisseur Paris, let's talk about the grand opening. That's right. You guys are having a major grand opening coming over at Lago. So, why the Lago yeah. location? Well. The Lago has been on our radar, or PG County in general, has been on our radar for a long time. As you know, PG County is the most, I mean, the most successful black populated county in the whole of the United States. So the most successful black people in America, they live in PG County. So wow. we always thought of bringing a boutique to the heart of this money. <laughs> That's where the money is. Talk about the residential. You look at Upper Marlboro, you look at Bowie, Lanham, Laurel, all these areas, a uh, part of Laurel, right? This is where they are. So we said, they've been asking for a long time, that why not PG County? So we were actually supposed to do this last year, but then COVID came and messed everything up. So we moved mm -hmm. it just this time, which is kind of coinciding with somebody who might be like, gee, they just opened a store in Houston. But it's because this door had actually been in the plan much longer than the Houston branch, which you put saw the video, beautiful luxury store at the Galleria right. Mall. It is so nice. Check that location out. <laughs> so we, so what are we expecting to see? Is it going to be the same, uh, 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 the same like the other store we just uh, a view on the screen? So what are the, because we're expecting huge. We're expecting all that colors, all that vibrant, yeah. all that luxury and all that space. So is that what we're yeah. going to be having at the Lago location? Well, th 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 this is the thing. You okay. know, Lago, Lago is home. Yes. Um, when we went to Houston, Atlanta, and these other cities that we've opened stores, right, all the way to Paris, we were all strangers over there. So we go there and just say, hey, we believe in this city and we want to do our thing here, and then try our best to bring people together. But Lago is home. So right. our expectations are much higher. The crowd there here is going to be bigger. So we are really planning a show. We are going to have some live activities going on. We are going to have a live band. We're going to have um, a, a DJ. We're going to have, um, we're going to bring the best of fashion. So we're going to bring the best of our, we might actually have a little fashion show if time permits. The guys come out in September Ooh. 4th. It starts at 12 p.m. Saturday. At, if you don't know where Lago Plaza is, please Google it. It's 10494 Campus Way South in Upper Marlboro, which is, right. if you know Peach Prince, college then you should know that location so it's the shopping center right next to prince george's college so we're gonna have a blast then we can have yes people so let's have the the, the flyer let us let's have the grand opening flyer for both for both the co-founders uh, uh, on the screen so we can have the location we can have the address and we can have everything for our viewers to That's see right oh yes that is legendary that is huge grand opening just look at two best friends with a vision kept right. coming together to do connoisseur paris and now it is a home brand for every person that is so beautiful and that is so groundbreaking it is it is so just excited to see this another grand opening Believing in the vision of opening every uh, every major city at Connecticut Paris. So hey, Connecticut is coming to a city near you soon. Look out, guys! Yes. So now, us the Connecticut Paris fans, all the brands follow us like us because we're always on your social media page to look at the latest <laughs> colors that the men are popping up yeah. in this season. 
Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> so <laughs> when will when when are we expecting a female collection? Because I'm always yes. checking on my phone, going on your website yes. to like have they pop like a you know like a suit for women, <laughs> you know like a color vibrant coming through. Yes. Because yes. I I'm, I'm expecting that. <laughs> So we, we are going to be doing a women line. It, it's coming. Um, strange thing is we've had a space, you won't believe this, but we've actually had, we, we've had a space for three years now. We signed a lease for to open a women's boutique. Three years in counting and we've not done that yet because we've been so overwhelmed with the men's fashion. But uh, we, are, we, we, are getting, we are getting to that. You see, our spouses, of course, uh, my wife, Eula, a day, and Alan's wife, my partner's wife, mm -hmm. Lisa the Chaps, they are in the background. We want to put, yes. we want to put our women, our wives, to really be the face of the women line. So yes. it's, it's, it's gonna be happening. So they are working in the background. They are working. It's mostly yes, gonna be women. So I'm happy you said that. We don't plan <laughs> to do like the beautiful dress you have there on there now. Yes. We're gonna be doing women form suits. That's a beautiful dress, but. It's too Thank you so <laughs> much, and that's why I know that if Condesa Paris is bringing me some fashion, yes. that's also coming yes. with some colors, and it's coming with yes. all the glam and glory. So we that's are our eyes appeal. Right. That's right, <laughs> coming. So our viewers will want to know what, where are the different locations? Because I have seen a location. I have not been in Paris, but going yes. through your your page and your post. Yes. Yes. I have yes. seen a store, a boutique yes. in yes. Paris. Yes. So, you know, um, by now, our headquarters is in Paris. Um, we opened a store in Paris back in 2018. So, due to Corona, um, we put things a bit on hold um, because, you know, Europe, they really struggle with Corona there. But now everything is coming back to life. So, our location in Paris is going to be back on and running just fine. And, of course, you know, we started at the Silver Spring location, which we've expanded a whole lot from where we were. We opened one unit, now we have four units there. So it's a big, big store. It's still one of, I'll say still our main branch, you know. And then we opened up in Atlanta. We opened up in Atlanta. Then we had also opened up in Virginia, but we put that on hold also due to Corona. We have that on hold. So we're going to be coming back, reviving that store in, in Virginia. And actively, we have the Atlanta, Maryland, we have Houston, of course, that just opened, and we have Lago Branch, that's on the way, a week and a half. Yes, a week and a half. We all are expecting that. So we all, we have some viewers uh, 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 put down their questions. So because we put on Instagram, on every social media platform, we are bringing the fashion, the men European fashion guru, to the show yes. and they say yeah we have some questions for connoisseur paris so i'm like yes. yes you guys should bring it because he is here to answer all your questions so what yes. type of suit do you advise for bright color ties somebody asked that that what kind of suit do you advise yes. for bright color ties well the best when, when you want to do bright colors just think of when it comes to tie just think of going a bit somber when it comes to the color of the suit. And it depends on what you consider bright. Bright mm -hmm. might be very hot pink to fuchsia, but mm -hmm. suits that are beautiful with ties like that are always navy blue, charcoal gray, and black. And always make sure that your husband, your boyfriend, or your date has a tie that can pick up something on your outfit. You will look beautiful together great oh my god you just made me my mind is just like okay now i know one strategy thank you for the viewer that asked that question because now i'm like okay i am a fashion person but again advices on fashion always yes. brand new to me and i just take it in and take it in because again fashion grows every day so the next viewer asks this question what type of men's jacket would look good on a six feet tall guy Ooh. Yeah. Is it? Yes. So, um, well, a guy who, I'm 6'2", so a guy who is 6, yeah, that's a good height. It depends on their build. So, if they have a slender build, then whatever can work on them, they could do a double-breasted, a double-breasted uh, double suit, which is very, very trendy these days. Six-button, 
or the four button double breasted to look so good on them they could do a one button or a two button it will work so well but for somebody who's on the heavy side i advise that they do more of a two button suit because that can help especially some guys who have a little bit of gut that will help to to cover that up a bit if you're uncomfortable with it but i've seen guys who they are super comfortable with with their bill and even they'll put on a jacket out hey comfortable with it but i don't advise about i don't i don't tell them to do that always do a suit that if somebody looks at you from the front let your suit sit straight down if your okay. suit in front opening up then you didn't do it well so it really depends on your bill to put on uh, what 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 you have to put on it's not everything that works on every body build wow well viewers now you hear and uh, the person that asked the question it's well answered and we have a third question too this person says that uh they want to be a model they, it's their dream to be a model for connoisseur paris are you recruiting just guys with particular build or are you just reaching out and recruiting young model uh, uh that are coming up wow that's a good one About a year and a half ago, yes. Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, yes. So I say I want to say tell a little story about that as I answer this question. So yes. about a year, about two years ago, we had a show in Silver Spring, a fashion show where we wanted to showcase our stuff. So I hired somebody to bring some models. So when they brought the models, I told them exactly the kind of models I, I was looking for. So they brought this one guy who. He was much older and he he was on the chubby side so mm -hmm. i quickly rejected the guy <laughs> but somehow on the day of the show that guy showed up he was the first person to ask me hey what suit am i gonna put on so me being the person who i am i didn't want to hurt the guy's feelings right. i said you know what i'll put something on this guy you'll be surprised but that guy he was the most interesting guy at, at that show people they loved wow. him and the truth is a lot of people and not everybody is slim i think there are more people who are on the bigger side than on, on the slim side so i would say a model is all about how the suit looks on you we really don't mind so much as long as we can put a good suit on you we'll go for it because somebody who looks like you will love that suit and they'll relate to it they'll be like right. yeah that guy looks like me. and that suit can look like that if i put it on on me so that, that's what we do yes because your models I would say that they are well built. They are like the suit, the suit, it's like on their body, like it was, you know, it was like sewn yeah. while on. they were standing yeah. in it. And I, yeah. if I'm a mother that I want to apply to be a connoisseur <laughs> Paris brand ambassador, I need to check myself out a lot. Because is this suit? <laughs> the, is this suit? You see, I blame, I blame that on the suit. Our suits are yeah. well constructed that. <laughs> They will give you that look. So sometimes it's a suit. It's not even just about the model. Or it's a combination. It's a combination, you're right. So we have a viewer say they have young, talented uh, 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 yes. uh, uh, designers back in Cameroon. People with the same vision you have with your friend. Coming from a country yes. like Cameroon with those visions. They want to be like you. They look at you. Seeing your, your, your brand on huge celebrities wearing them on major platforms they want to yes. be like you i have seen a lot yeah. of young cameroonians uh, uh, uh entrepreneurs that they are also coming up with their brands and their suits and yeah. their men's jacket and their men talks in maryland yes. in the dmv for sure so That's what right. one advice will you give them you being at that platform where they are all looking at yes so um as you know we um we are the pioneers when it comes to men's fashion what we've been able to do with this brand um some risks that we've been able to take to open these stores um uh, which has really motivated a lot of guys and we've mentored some of the guys you see around doing similar business like us um we've mentored them they still come until this day they still call me um for advice and we are open we advise them so I'll say a young person in Cameroon looking at contemporary, I'll say um, continue to dream, have these big dreams, and then follow your dream. Okay, don't just dream and sit on the dream. What are you doing about it? You can start very small because you see contemporary, what you see today, 
was created out of very little amount of money. I might, I might say um, what you see today, which is a multi-million dollar business, started right. with $10,000. The ten thousand dollars so that is really small so i'll say don't look at where you are and say hey it's impossible you can start off very very small and also i am very open you can inbox me um uh you you, have, you, you all see me on facebook on instagram you can inbox me which uh, i have cameroonians in cameroon that are mentors some of them in south africa who are into fashion and they reach out to me and I, I, I feel free to talk to them. I don't hold back because I believe that we can make fashion a Cameroon thing or an African yes. thing, whatever you want to call it. It can become yes. this our own thing that we, um, for us in the diaspora, we are recognized for fashion. That is very good. That is so beautiful. That is so beautiful. So, Canessa Paris, I want to thank you for coming on the show. And I want to thank you for grazing our present with this great ideas and answering our viewers' questions and setting our eyes on this beautiful boutique and what we are yes. going to see on the grand opening on September 4th right. at Lago. It's going to be yes. amazing. Please, viewers, don't miss it. He said it's going to be live music, which that's what I'm going for. And I'm going for the colors. You know, I love colors. I'm going for that's how right. I want to see the suits on the mothers. I really pray that we have a little bit of showcase on all of this yes. beautiful pieces. <laughs> and viewers, we're, 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 yes. September 4th, the grand, that's grand that's opening. That is the flyer that, on the that, screen. That's, that's the location right there. And let's hear yes. a little word from Connoisseur Paris, Julius. Thank so what you. do you have Thank to say? You. Thank you so much, Ruth, to you and your team. All Things Fashion, it was a great show. I've had fun for the past 40, 45 minutes that we've been on. I'll say you push it continue to roll. And I look forward to seeing you for the grand opening. I cannot wait. But guys, thanks so much for watching this come out send a word out there are people out there who want to shop for beautiful suits they don't know where to go tell them about us so connie say it's gonna, it's gonna be there it's a home for everybody come you'll be welcome and just to add we do offer champagne at some of our locations when you come to visit Ooh, champagne okay then we're going <laughs> viewers <laughs> go see go check it out I know you guys want to have a little taste of that champagne. I know why he kept it at the end. So he can, you know, <laughs> eh, you guys need to come on board. So September 4th, viewers, we are meeting you at the Lago location. The flyer, the address was just pop on the screen. And we're going to drop some information down there. And also, uh, I want to thank you guys for your presence today. I want to thank you for viewing us, always supporting us. And I say waiting on you on next saturday to keep supporting share on every social yes. media platform i say all that's right fashion show is for yes. you it's for the viewers for every talent yes. out there all things fashion show is here for you so you you right. guys can reach me on uh, uh instagram all things fashion host so while we get yes. back to the guests julius where can they find you and connoisseur paris on every social media platform well, we are we are very very active on Facebook. Yes. We are on Instagram. So those two yes. platforms we use a lot. We're not we are not so much on Twitter yet, but Facebook and Instagram. So you can catch us there. And I can say Paris. That's it. I can say Paris. Yeah, you can find us there, and you see great. great stuff. We upload a lot of good stuff. Our latest fashion, we have them there. Great. So Connoisseur Paris on Instagram, that's just search the brand name. Connoisseur Paris is going to pop up. Yeah. Trust me, if you're even looking for what color to blend, the appear should be on your two bar like in every second. Because once you click it, you always have that color combination on what should be going with what perfect outfit and with what perfect party. So you guys go check them out on Instagram and Facebook. Again, it is your beautiful host, Ruth. You can check me out out on instagram all things fashion host and also on facebook all things fashion show so thank you please share on every social media platform and we'll see you again with another talent thank you so much
Welcome to All Things Fashion Show, streaming live from media to Africa. Are you a fashion designer? Are you smart, creative, adventurous, a fashion entrepreneur, trendsetter? We bring you the best in photography, modeling, content creating, art, and music. Then join Ruth in All Things Fashion.